All right, what's up guys? Welcome to this vlog. We're, uh, we got a double dinger. We're working on the Dodge. We're working on the project landscape truck. We already got Mark in the, the engine bay right here. <laughs> took, took a whole bunch of the stuff up, but, uh, or not up, but off. So there's Mark. We're about to put the cams. We got the cams from Comp Cam. We got the lifters. And we're taking off the intake manifold right now, guys. We got the valve covers off. I think this is a fire. And, uh, oh, no, there's a flood break. man, we're just trying to get this run in for Monday. We're not working today, Friday. We got the new guy also helping us out, Big Daddy, Mr. Whiskers, your boy Mark from Eclipse Lawn Care here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. But right now, we're in the beautiful city of Mesquite. So, <sighs> all right. Well, hopefully, guys, everything works. Works right. We're supposed to get more horsepower out of these cams. Here, I'll, I'll give you a little view of what we got going on real quick. So, like I mentioned, we got the cams for the comp cam. We got lifters. We got all the gaskets. Oh, yeah, buddy. So, there's a nice little reveal, unboxing somewhat. This is the camera right here we're going to be using. Man, look how shiny that is. If I get it out without dropping it, guys, I definitely don't want to mess this up. But I'll give you a view of it uh, once we get ready to pop this baby up in it. So we have that. I got my camp card here. Got some cool stickers. I might put that on the trailer, maybe. We'll see. Got the MDS uh, delete kit, cam phaser lock. So I think we got everything we need in order to get this truck running and get all cylinders firing. So as we continue to work on this truck, we'll, we'll definitely give y'all some footage of it. Here, let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper and check out uh, Mark pull out the, that intake real quick. Plug out in the very back right here that's not wanting to come out. Oh, you tripped me out, dude. I told you, people don't want to know how many boogers I got. <laughs> hey, y'all guys in the comment below, y'all let me know what color I should color this intake and also the valve cover. I'm going to paint them. Might as well since they're out. Y'all guys let me know in the comments, whoever, uh, whatever color y'all guys. Whatever pick, color pops up the most. Whatever color pops up the most, that's what we're going to color these. Or paint these uh to be pink uh, i'll cover in hey the... if it's pink dude i mean if and they have pink paint we'll that's what the breast cancer awareness all over <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're just not do just not rainbow guys <laughs> we, ain't do we ain't doing rainbow we're gonna be like oh paint, paint each intake uh port a different uh, co yeah. rainbow color like all these oh yeah right oh, okay yeah Feel it. I don't know. They might. I mean, it's no. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. We're about to knock this baby out. I'm excited. I'm gonna say one more yeah. thing, and it's taking a while though. So we got a good mechanic here, and Big Daddy's also a mechanic. I've seen some of his videos. Hey, man, what, what's your Instagram, bro? Uh. It's uh, Xavier Espinoza 4. Xavier Espinoza 4. Y'all guys, go hit him up on Instagram. Do you have a lot of your mechanic work on there, right? You yeah, do, right? Yeah. Y'all go check out his mechanic work, man. Let's check out that shirt, bro. Let me see. Uh, Sarcasm, just one of my many talents. Hey, bro. That's yeah. awesome, bro. <laughs> and you do have a lot of talent, man. This guy was a beast this week on on uh, knocking out those yards for us. Good job, brother. Seriously, man. Boom. Yeah. Mark has been doing... Uh, most of this work man he's he's getting it man there's the valve covers right there we're gonna we're gonna paint those up still trying to figure out what color but let's look inside the engine bay and see what we got going on in here real quick so we got the passenger side of the head taken apart or off now we got to get this side 
but we did uh ran into a little problem you could see we broke the harmonic balancer they gave us the wrong pulley it wasn't big enough to actually get the whole whole pulley on on, on the outside so it only grip, gripped it from here we try to loosen it up or tighten it up whatever you want to call it and it broke off so we had to go get another another puller which we got the jaw puller there it is so here's the head and the air intake spraying it down trying to take some of, a lot of that carbon out it's big really big definitely caked on them we do have new valves for them, so of course, once we take pop those valves off, we'll be able to clean it up a little bit more for the valve seat. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right, we're about to pull that cam out. There it is. Here it comes. Push. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> Maneuver it so it don't catch up on nothing. It's hung up right now. Okay, it's a little stuck. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Push. Push. Oh, the head's out. The, the head's head. out. I, I see a head. Oh, oh push. Oh, Here it comes. Oh, breathe. Breathe. Hold on, hold on. Just wait she's doing. She's doing good. She's doing good. Here, let's spread her hoses a little bit more. Spread the hoses. Uh, push. Push. Oh, oh. Good push. Oh, 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 it's there. Oh. It is. It's a boy. It's a boy. Look at that. Oh, dude, it is trashed, bro. Out, bro. There That's she it. Is. Yep. Dude, it wore a. Look how low that is. That Look is... how tall that lobe is right there. Right there, this that one. one okay look how low that is look how much lower than that lobe Bro, it's there used to be a lobe there look how see how these are close together and they're yeah. the same height yeah. it's the same here the lobe used to be right here it's gone that is crazy. it's almost perfectly almost uh, perfectly uh, round wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my truck it's running perfect it fit itself <laughs> Here, let, let do you do you really think I need lifters? Do you think my cat's really messed up, Mark? There's no bro, way. Bro, really? Gonna... Nah, you don't, <laughs> nah, bro. It's only got a hundred thousand miles on it. It can't be the cam already. Yeah, bro, it's your cam. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Dang. Well, there you go. Bart knocked it out. He's a daddy. That's it. There's your mute. That other cam's even heavier than that. It one. is, dude. It's a lot heavier than that one. It's almost like a shake weight. Yeah. So just that valve being in contact with that load, man, just shot it up. It burnt your oil up and everything else because it was just friction all the time on that cam. Burnt your oil up. Well, let's take a look at the at the lifter that was damaged. Where did I put it? It's clearly visible. <laughs> Where is it at? Let's just look at the ends and tell which one it is. Unless, do we it's do not that? over here because it's not. Okay. None of these ends are damaged. Let's see. Where did we leave that? Down somewhere. Where did we leave? What did we do with that lifter, son? What lifter? That little Two thing. Where? Oh yeah. I kept that in my hand. Oh okay. Here it is. It's right here. Yeah. So there it is, man. Don't even. It's definitely see. see. You'll be able to put that can there. It's right here.
right there. You can actually see the slots where these actually grooved in, dug a groove. That's actually lower than the actual, look. Feel that across there, it's almost flat. Yeah. Feel how deep that oh, is. Oh yeah, that, that that's definitely. actually deeper right there. But yeah, that's actually where these wow, little dude. grooves were coming from is these high spots where this roller didn't groove it out yet. So the only thing that was making that lifter work was these little walls right here, pushing on these little ears right here. Oh. Hmm. That's crazy, bro. Dang, dude. Dodge. <laughs> Let's fix it. Let's do it. And these these Hemi engines, five seven, are. They're, these, they're really notorious of getting having these uh, fail like that specific intake yeah. side or exhaust side on that specific cylinder. Yep. Number five. Number five. There it is. And there was actually a couple more marks that, that we noticed that we're actually going to go out next. One actually fell apart whenever I took it out. Uh huh. Cause this little clip's supposed to hold all this in here okay and whenever i took it out all that just fell out the back the oh, clip really? i found and everything dude all this just fell out what but look it was about it oh dude yeah you see that the bearings in there shot yep that one was gonna go out do you remember what number look. yeah that one was gonna go out eventually and the rest of them were good. I think it was only like two or three of them that were like that. Yeah, see all these are. Yeah, all these are good. I think it was just those two. Those two were getting ready to go out. I don't remember wow. where they came out from. But look, you can look at here. And you'll be able to kind of see. Oh yeah, you can tell where you it's see that right, right there. there. Yeah. And just look at all your low right top, here, the top. highest look, look, you see this? It's kind of starting to get like a polish right there yeah. across it. Yeah, that look like this one here too. Oh okay. yeah, definitely right here, dude. That's really polished. <clears throat> it could have came out of one of these. But we were just pulling them out one at a time and kind of in, oh look, right there. Yep, there it is, there's another there one. There it is. That's, that's where one wrong. of those, that's probably that roughest one right there. That one that's the loosest. Okay. Probably started doing that. And then that other one probably came out of one of these more polished ones like that. You'll be able to find it. Just by looking at all the cans, all the loads, I mean. It looks like it got water, dude. It's like, it's got coolant. Coolant. Mm -hmm. In your head gasket was failed so meaning coolant was getting into your uh, cylinders and it was burning it off that's where all that gunk came from yeah that is that was cake on it it was actually making it past making it past some spots on your gaskets I had some Pretty nasty little fail points and stuff all over them where coolant was, you could see the, see this orange? That's from the coolant, right? And yeah. your exhaust gases passing from your cylinders into the coolant, mixing it up, making it dark, burning it up. But at the same time, <clears throat> you see that same orange color around on this side of the seal. You see how it's on this side of the seal? Uh -huh coolant was making its way past and into because this is where the gasket actually seals up right here so that coolant was actually burning on your cylinder side too so it was making its way in and then this is another telltale sign right here is this piston's actually steam blasted from the from the uh, coolant see how clean the top of that piston is can you see that Piston yeah. number five, see how clean the top of it is versus that one and that one and that one. See how clean it is? Because the coolant was getting into that cylinder and cleaning it by steam, like turning it basically into steam. You see how clean that is? 
You can yeah. almost see the metal of the cylinder. But, Oh. Yeah, I see it. Boom. Yeah, dude. It's fairly yeah. clean, dude. The top of that piston. Wow. So you know there was a failure there. Yeah. Because it was allowing that moisture to get into there, turn it to steam, clean it out. Second day working on this Dodge. We got it all, we got the heads taken, taken out. We're about to install the cam. Here's the old cam right here. That's the old cam we y'all guys seen that uh how them lows were definitely tore up we got the heads we got them nice clean intake nice clean here's a here this was going to show the new cam we got pretty Some big old lobes on there <laughs> <laughs> all right let's install it you know what, you know yeah, I'll kiss it for good luck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. who, wants to, who wants to kiss it for good luck? Big right. Daddy? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. No, okay. He said, man. I don't know about all that. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and there. up. Mostly on these, because mm -hmm. these are the ones that are going to be on there. There's a new cam. see the, the deletes yeah so there it is there's a mds delete yeah. kit we put on it there's the mds valves right here right there got them right here mds uh, is no more yeah and uh who's the one who, who installed the big daddy yeah, yeah. i installed the deletes shout out to big daddy for installing that mds kit from Big Daddy Automotives. Big Daddy. <laughs> Down here in deep South Mesquite. <laughs> now we're gonna have to put that phaser. All right, so we got the Hemi cam phaser. We're about to put the limiter on this puppy. Now there's a, there's a way that you have to uh, take this off. You can't just unscrew all the, all the bolts on it because then it'll, you'll screw up the whole phaser, so. It's got a spring in there that's preloaded. Yeah, like Mark was saying, there's a spring in there that's preloaded. And you have to put a, there's a little kit that you put in the back to keep that tension on the spring. That way when you loosen it up, it spring doesn't get all wound out. So four bolts, you take off one bolt, you leave on there and you just loosen it up. bolt you want to leave is going to be across from your dowel pin hole. Mm -hmm. I know I'm just explaining. Talking to the camera. Talking to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was just making sure I wasn't like. <laughs> yeah, I right had it this way. I know I've done this before. <laughs> All right, so now I just. So, yeah, you gotta loosen it up a little bit more. This you one. Yeah, yeah, because it's tight. Just, just loosen it just a bit. Help. Just to pivot it. Yeah, that way, so you have that top will just pivot. Oh, there it is. Boom. There you go. Okay. And then let's figure out where we're going to put that. Yeah. And it's only going to fit in, in one of the slots. It's not going to fit Turn on this, all of them. This way. Put this like this. It's right there. It goes in. Wait, this, Insert this. limiter here like that. with the counter facing the center of the face. You see that bolt right there. This hole right here, this gap right here, that's where that thing goes. This thing like that. And it says right here, insert limiter here with the counter facing the center of phaser. Uh, so is that the right way? Does it, does it show? That's what it looks like. Because see, this is round and then the... Okay. Let me show you. It's hard to see it. It's just round. And it goes with the, with yeah. the face oh, right okay, here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it goes right there. But is, I don't think it's supposed, is it supposed to move like that? It's got to. Yeah, it just doesn't allow this. Or does to, it? Yeah. Or does it go sideways, like turn like it this. long ways? Because I think it's supposed to fit where, almost like a puzzle. There you go. Like long ways, but no. Oh, okay. No, that's how it goes. You can't put it in there like that. So it's got to be. Because you can't do it this way. Okay. I mean, you can, but it doesn't fit as good as this way. Because it, okay. it's just literally like shape for that corner okay, gotcha. right here. Because mm -hmm. probably when the motor's spinning, it's centrifugally going to suck up to that wall, anyways. Because this, this actually moves like this. Yeah, this oh, whole thing oh, okay, moves gotcha. over. So it stops this thing from going so far over. See, it, it actually puts a deal in there. So when it does turn, mm -hmm. it hits this wall sooner and leaves a bigger gap for mm -hmm. probably more oil flow or something. Yeah. That's how it goes. Though. Okay, cool. That just stops it from moving and retarding the timing mm -hmm. and stuff. So that way it keeps it at the, at, at the timing that it's set. Yeah, like that. exactly. You, you, you right. You so now, right. right. Now put it back together. Man. Woo. And then just turn it back there. We already put that limiter on that, on that phaser, or Big Daddy did. And oh man, I can't wait till we get this truck running. So we're gonna continue to work on the truck all throughout the day. And tomorrow we'll start kind of putting the stuff together and hopefully by tomorrow evening, Sunday evening, we'll have, we'll take the truck out for a spin and um, hopefully it'll be ready for work day Monday. Y'all gotta stay tuned, stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and uh, show y'all the uh, new lifters we got here. We're pre-priming these lifters. Now I was gonna get the Hellcat lifters, but they were gonna be like 500 bucks more. So I just decided to get these aftermarket lifted i don't even think these are the oem brand but uh but they're but they're aftermarket so they should be better and they should be good so we're gonna let those uh prime for a bit and then we're gonna install them let all the air out of them and let them be ready to go in yeah that way there's never a spot or time where there's no oil in them they don't we're not waiting for that fill up procedure to happen before the cam starts turning so we'll be able to actually put those in and they'll kind of bleed down on the cam at the same time so it'll lube everything up on the on the fresh start and there's no air in them to keep the oil from being able to just instantly start flowing through them mm -hmm. kind of like priming up a water pump before yeah. you start pulling water it's the same thing you just prime it up that way, when we put not them in the engine, I mean, they're not gonna go. They're gonna be not they gonna won't be, be dry, dry at all. They'll exactly. be completely lube. Plus, they'll start bleeding out. 
and some will keep trickling over the roller and the cam and stuff yeah. so it'll be all pre-primed for when you get ready to start it with the new cam and new lifters and all that in it nothing will be dry metal against metal it'll, everything will have oil literally seeping on it at the same time you get ready to start it awesome so we we'll got all the push rods too before we throw them in there so they'll have some extra to bleed out while we're putting everything together but other than that man it'll be good sweet bro and that's all 16 hmm that's all 16 or uh, wow okay they all fit in there sweet there's all of them guys been day three and the double bangers which is mark wayne and big daddy man they shout out to them because uh that's their name double bangers bro they knocked all this baby back in got a little paint job on the fuel rails on the uh valve cover and also on the uh what is that the the water pump cover plate Timing chain. Timing chain. Look at that, guys. It looks pretty. Now, Mark is just uh, draining the, the oil right now. We're about to, or actually cleaning the, the oil pan and draining all the crud that's inside of it. Then we're going to fill it up with uh, seven quarts of oil. And then we're going to turn that key and hopefully it'll uh, <laughs> it'll crank up and uh we're able to get this get this going so we got doug right there dougie doug dougie fresh i don't know during the whole the during the whole uh tear down of the motor and doug never really showed up until now that don't make sense i think he was avoiding us <laughs> oh doug man hey doug uh um, what up man so uh th these three days where have you been man I, well uh you weren't around to help give us a hand or nothing bro what's up with that you see, only came uh, over and gave me a hand after y'all left there you go yeah. there you oh go. okay what'd you do <laughs> pick up he had to be the intake manifold and all that <laughs> when i was putting it in that's all he did Handed me a couple of ratchets and some sockets. And well, there was too many hands in there earlier. So handed me a razor blade and some other stuff. Dang it, man. I tried. He was being my big big daddy while big daddy was gone. <laughs> <laughs> big oh, daddy man. had to go take a break at the coffee. Oh, man. And and what up, people? How y'all doing? There it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Dougie in the place. Calm cam right there. Comcast by Big Daddy and Mark. <laughs> All right. What happened? The moment of truth. Y'all guys are going to see our reaction. You're going to see Dougie Doug's reaction, Big Daddy's reaction. Hey, y'all make sure y'all follow Big Daddy on Instagram real quick. Y'all, yeah. what, what is it? Uh, Xavier Spinoza 4. Cool. Y'all yeah. guys will see. I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the description, but Mark's yeah, about to see. crank her up. And, uh,. My heart is pounding right now, man. Let's see. Oh, look at Mark over there, man. <laughs> I got faith in you. Oh, dang. Right. Here we go. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh, dang it. You can do it, Tricky. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Two.
What's going on guys? Man, I know it's been almost a week since I put out a video, but we've been working on this truck. As y'all guys know, we installed a comp cam cams on it and did almost a whole valve train, uh, uh, what do you call it, overhaul. And so we were out of work for since last Friday and we just got the truck back into uh, working yesterday. So, you know, of course, we've just been busy. Well, these guys, Big Daddy and Marky Mark, been just working on this truck. We got some, we still got to get it tuned. We found a guy in Terrell that could tune this truck because a lot of people, for some reason, won't touch the Dodge Rams to uh, tune them. We got to put it on, on the dyno and get the, uh, get the computer, uh, how do you say it, uh, in sync with, with all the uh, new stuff that we put in the engine and... But I'm gonna let Mark. I'm gonna let Mark uh, explain, kind of give you an update. It's funny because he knows more about the truck than than I do, which is kind of embarrassing. But I'm gonna let Mark kind of talk to you uh, what happened day one and where we're at right now. Well, hello everybody there on the tube. Quick update. Motors in, back together, looking good. Got the cold air intake on it. Put the comp cam in it. Got some new lifters in it. Got some gaskets. Everything's sealed up nice and tight. Motor seems to run pretty decent. Uh, could run better. Deal is, when we put the competition cam in this truck, um, we put a cam phase limiter, which is a device that's it's a pulley mounted to a cam inside your motor that basically is spring loaded on the Chrysler motors and you put a spacer in there for the competition cam to keep the valves or the piston from hitting the valves and tearing the motor up. It limits the timing on the motor. And because we change the timing on the motor, we have to have it tuned by a professional. We can't just put a regular HP tune on it or a Diablo tune or anything like that because with that device really couldn't get into the system good enough to really change timing and stuff of that nature or we just weren't experienced enough with the equipment to really tr trust ourselves getting into that portion of the system so we reached out to a company called Whitehorse out in Siegelville not far here from Mesquite and they said they can do a tune on it nobody wants to do a tune on these trucks for some reason it's got to be a charger got to be a challenger got to be camaro got to be a mustang got to be something in the car range supposedly they don't do tunes on trucks this company whitehorse does tunes on trucks they said they can get us in there we'll have to leave the truck there for a couple of days um pretty costly uh, operation they're gonna have to do on it but I think they're gonna be able to be able to get the truck running as I guess is the, at its top best with that cam in there and with the new timing it's gonna need the new air it's gonna need we put the cold air intake on it um, they're gonna have to adjust fuel they're gonna have to adjust air they're gonna have to adjust timing they're gonna have to adjust everything in the system to accept this new cam and this new cam timing um, so we're still trying to figure out how we're gonna keep everything running here or get done in a reasonable time to get this truck up to Whitehorse drop it off get them to put it on the dyno, do some pulls, see where the computer's at, make their adjustments from there. Try to get this truck running like it should be running. Um, seems to lack power on the top end. It has a lot of low end power, but lacks power on the higher RPMs because of the tune that's on the factory tune that's on there. And the cam phase limit kit we put on it. Um, computer runs a check on the K, the fan the cam phaser as soon as you start the motor and it's instantly seeing that there's a limit there and it's not seeing what it's wanting to see so it's automatically putting the truck in limp mode 
and we need to get it out of limp mode and run them right. Because right now, she pulls the trailer just fine. Got plenty of torque, just no speed. Uh, I think you can't go over, I think it's like 60 miles an hour, and you can't go past fourth gear. So we're having to kind of uh, lug around a little bit. Um, stay to the closer yards, not do a whole lot of traveling with it until we can get the proper tune on it, get the proper timing set on it, and get her back to work. But that's about it, just giving you guys an update on what all we've been through and what we're still dealing with on the truck to get her running right. I know, it's been uh, technically about two weeks that I haven't posted a video guys it's been a crazy crazy couple of weeks i mean my boy dougie doug rest in peace you know he y'all guys know know that not only that was that a a, a a grieving time i guess not just for us but for y'all for all of us that that uh that new doug man but not only that it's been about two weeks since I've seen. I'm not in. I'm not even in my truck, guys. I've been truckless for about two weeks. Haven't been able to go out and mow these lawns for about two weeks. I've been. Y'all guys know. I don't even think I even put the video up where I was. Where we've been working on the truck, installing the cams and the lifters, and um, you know, we had to take take out the heads. Almost. Well, we pretty much did a uh, whole valve train, um, what do you call it? overhaul, I guess. That's basically what we did. Shout out to Mark, Mr. Whiskers, and Baby Cake, but so much has happened in these two weeks. Like I said, not only with Doug, but my truck is in the shop. Guys, we've been having trouble trying to get somebody to tune my truck. It's a 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 5.7 Hemi. It's like nobody wants to tune your boy's truck. I know we did. We installed everything right. Everything is installed right. But we just can't find the right shop to tune my truck. Oh, man. I mean, we've took it to one shop, left it there for the weekend, then Monday they can come to find out they weren't able to get it idle. What's happening is just not idle. Once we get it running, it runs fine. It has power, but it just doesn't stay idling. That's why it needs a tune. It needs a good custom tune. I need somebody who knows how to write a custom tune for a Dodge Ram and for the parts that we put in. And it'll be it'll be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So couldn't find anybody, called almost everywhere here in Dallas and the surrounding area to try to find a tune shop. Nobody won't touch the Dodge Rams for some reason. I don't know why. But I found a shop in Arlington called 777 Performance. So I dropped off my truck Friday and, and I met the dudes. The dudes were freaking awesome, top notch. They gave us a tour of their shop, which was awesome. I mean, they were they were good, good, uh, good guys, man. So today's Tuesday. Hopefully, they'll get it. They're, they're actually gonna not just write the tune, but they're gonna put it on the, on the dyno, and I'm gonna make sure you guys come along when they dyno it. Hopefully, they get it running. I have faith that they <laughs> will get it done. They seem very knowledgeable in working with Dodge Rams and and Hemi's. So keep your fingers crossed, guys, because I need to uh, get my truck back so we can get back to making that money. All right, so not only that, and if you guys are wondering what about my yards, I got, I'm sub, they're subbed out. Right now, I got them all 100% subbed out. Of course, I got to sub them out, which means I lose a little bit of money. But you know what? At least my customers are going to be happy, taken care of. And that's all that matters right now. Like I said, hopefully we get the truck. I get my truck out tonight. Tonight, I'll hopefully we get it done. I'll definitely keep you uh, updated on anything that's going on with the company. Peace.